Hi, my name is Amy Sangster. I'm the soil specialist for Perinia, and today we're going to talk about how to take a proper soil sample. So soil sampling is actually a pretty easy procedure. Um, there are a number of tools uh, that you can use to take a sample. Um, one that you'll often see is this simple soil probe. It's just a T uh, where you're going to push it into the ground. Uh, for this field, because it's been plowed, we're going to go in 15 centimeters and take your soil sample from a 15 centimeter depth. The problem with these probes is, as you can see, on harder ground, it's sometimes hard to get them down and get an actual proper sample. So if you're doing a lot of them, uh, what I prefer to use is this soil probe which has a step-on uh, addition here. And it just makes it a lot easier to get it into the ground. So again, you're going to go into about a 15 centimeter depth. There's a notch on the side that will tell you uh, how deep you've gone. And what you see here is you get a nice even core with depth. Um, and again, this field has been plowed. Um, and so if you think about when you're plowing, Generally, you go down to about 15 centimeters. What you're doing is you're really homogenizing the soil within that first 15 centimeters. So you want to know how much nutrients are, are, are there. Um, now, if you don't have one of these, and if you're not doing a lot of sampling, you can use a shovel, and everybody's got a shovel. Um, and to be honest with you, if you're not taking a lot of samples, I'd save yourself some cash. Some of these probes can run upwards of $100. Um, and the shovel, uh, is just as effective, but there are a few cautionary things you need to keep an eye on. With the shovel, what you want to do is make sure you're going about 15 centimeters again for this field because it's plowed. And you want to try and just take out a bit of a wedge there. And you'll lift it up, there. And as you can see, we've got about 15 centimeters of depth, but the problem with the shovel is that because it is a bit of a wedge, we're getting too much of the topsoil, and this is going to throw off your results. So if you're collecting soil samples with a shovel, you want to make sure you're just taking off the sides. So you break those off so that you're trying to mimic that nice, even, uniform cone that you get with the other samplers, with the probes. So if you can just take off the sides, And again, so that sample's a little better. So as you see, there's your, your cross section. It's more uniform with depth, which is what you want. And uh, that'll, that's, that sample will give you just as good results as a probe will. Uh, the last tool I'll show you, um, this is called a Dutch auger. And I don't use this a whole lot for soil sampling unless the ground is really hard to go through. And this auger will pretty much sample anything. So if you've got ground that's a little rockier, those smaller soil probes, uh, it's really tough to get a good sample. But these augers, as I mentioned, they'll go through just about anything. And you just auger down. You can see this ground's actually a little harder to go through as well. When you pull the auger up, you'll get your sample there. With the Dutch augers, it's a little harder to get a nice uniform sample. But again, if your ground's really tough to sample, sometimes this is the thing that'll do the trick. And there's your sample. If you're wanting to sample a pasture or a field that's been in perennial cover or even in a no-till situation or reduced till situation, your sampling depth is going to be a little bit different. Um, and the reason for this is, is we're not mixing that top 15 centimeters of soil in these situations. And in fact, when you put your nutrient applications on, they're really resting on the surface. And over time, some of them may work their way down the soil profile slightly, but we're not doing that mixing to the first uh, 15 centimeters of soil. So in these situations, you want to go down about eight centimeters when you take your sample. And what I do is I just kneel down and I just gently brush off any of the plant material or plant debris that's resting on the surface. And when you sample, again, you're going to go about eight centimeters. And that is about eight centimeters. My, my notch on this probe is right there for 15 centimeters, so it's a little shallower. Um, and what we're trying to do is really mimic um, where we're putting our, our applications, our, our soil amendments and our nutrient applications. 
Um, and as well, we're trying to sample the zone where the majority of the roots are, um, keeping in mind that really the majority of your roots in the soil are within the first five centimeters of the soil. So we're just gonna go down a little bit deeper and that should give you a better estimate of plant available nutrients in these situations.